they were um, investigating. And when they sent the divers down there, they encountered these humanoid beings that had humanoid. On, yeah, like um, I don't think they went into detail as There's like illustrations if they were of that. If you look up like what's up, guys. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. Grush's testimony, I think it was actually in front of Ross Coulthart, right? Which is mm -hmm. this Australian journalist that's working for News Nation stuff now. Um, he's really covering the UFO beat in a big way. And when he talked to Grush the first time, they said, like, what are these things, mate? Like, are they aliens or what? Are, what is this non-human intelligence? I can't. I, I deal with this every time I talk to him. It's not quite. It's not quite in the same octave uh, as uh, Ross, but um, you know, Grush is like, well, uh, there seems to be an existence of a plur plurality of intelligence. So there could be a dimensional aspect to this intelligence. There could be an extraterrestrial. And there could be something else that we don't quite understand, you know, like um, Hal Putoff, he wrote uh, a paper about ultra terrestrials in the past ultra couple of years. Yeah, you can look it up. Ultra terrestrials uh, paper, Hal Putoff, if you want to put that, Alessi. Basically, um, his theory is that what if what we're experiencing here is um, – not necessarily extraterrestrial, but it's a non-human intelligence that has existed on the planet for longer than us. Right. Yeah. Or possibly the same amount of time that is just superior, like technologically, what have you. And those are the things that are currently, it comes back to like that change in the sea, sea analogy. There's multiple domains to the planet. There's the sky, there's the land, there's the oceans. And maybe there's inhabitants in different layers of right. the planet, you know, that, these different domains. That, That's why even Arrow is the all domain, right? They're trying to catch all of that and debunk all of that. The guy that, that Gallaudet talked about victor viscobo is yes. that it yeah so he was another retired navy dude but he's like an expert in submersibles and he's like ocean. he's like um james cameron like he's been to the bottom of a trench in what his does he own have to say about all this uh, i think he's interested based on what tim's saying um you know he's open to the idea that there's something going on in our oceans that can't be accounted for by prosaic explanations. And um, Victor, if you're watching, I am not a wealthy man. I really need some investment for my next documentaries. <laughs> I would love to get in a submersible with you and go to the bottom of a trench. I hope it's not like the Titanic one, the tin can. No, his is good. All right, good. We can get in this thing. We can go down and look for aliens together, bud. But I don't think he's going to answer that call. Um, I feel like if you found him, you wouldn't come back. Wow, maybe, maybe, who knows? If you can see him. Actually, in no that way. report um, that Tim Gallaudet just released, that paper that's uh, 29 pages, it's on the Saul Foundation website, he uh, says that there's been at least, that he knows of, one hostile um, submarine encounter. Did he expand upon that? He didn't. Got to get him in here. Yeah, you got to get get him in here for sure. Got to put him under the light. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Well, usually, I mean, from what I've heard, any encounter that was hostile always involved us uh, uh, taking a hostile action Provoking? towards what. Yeah. It's not like it was something that came after us just for the hell of it. Yeah. It's like the Russians trying to capture those aliens. And what exactly. are you talking about? Like the Lake, Lake Baikal, the Lake Baikal swimmers. What happened there? They tried uh, a bunch of divers went down um, <clears throat> beneath the ice in Lake Baikal and came across. Where is that, Lake Baikal? Uh, Russia, is it right? Yeah, look it up, Alessi. Okay. Sorry. B-I-C-A-L, is that it? B-I-B, 
uh, B A I K A L, I believe. Oh, Big Cal. Big Cal. Yeah, yeah, right there. There you go. All right, let's look at maps. Oh, it's a beautiful looking lake. Yeah. All right, now scroll out. Let's see where this is. Sierra Mongolia. Oh, yeah, it's down there. But still in Russia. It's still in Russia, but it's down there near Mongolia. Yeah. Um, so the Russians tried to capture beings inside of the lake, and it did not work too well. What so, do you mean they tried to capture beings? The tale is that... Uh, there's been stuff coming in and out of the, the lake. See, you've got one from 2012 where Russian UFO hunters are reporting stuff still happening there. And Lake Bacal happened, this incident happened long before 2012. What is the, uh, do we know how deep that lake is? Pretty, Pretty deep. deep, yeah. Yeah, it's apparently very deep. And, uh, isn't it one of the deepest lakes, if I'm not mistaken? In the world? Something like 3,000, 4,000 feet. Wow. You know, something like that. Okay. That's pretty deep. You That's explain what happened. Deep, well, long story short, they went, I mean, from, it's supposedly the story goes that there was something that was seen or, you know, through uh, radar or whatever that they use and that they were um, investigating. And when they sent the divers down there, they encountered these humanoid beings that had- Humanoid. On, yeah. Like, um, I don't think they went into detail as like illustrations if they were of that. If you look up Lake Baikal, right. just look up Lake, Lake Baikal swimmers. That's the swimmers. Lake Baikal, this isn't going to be like the leprechaun report in Alabama. <laughs> no. no, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, I believe there's an actual document uh, of the uh, incident. Yeah, of the incident. Yeah. All right, Lake Baikal. No, alien. put Lake Baikal swimmers. Lake Baikal swimmers, swimmers, swimmers. Yeah, yeah swimmers. You know, like, uh, well, they're Is that right there. Yeah, the there ones? you go. The fourth one, Lake Baikal blue, Swimmers. Yeah, yeah. That's supposedly what they described them looking as. And those Did little, those Nick little, uh, yeah, there's Nick Pope. <laughs> there's our boy. <laughs> Nick Pope. <laughs> Well, so, I think they did discover them. <laughs> yeah, he was on the History Channel like, well, there's something happening in Lake Bacow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they're wearing like umbrellas. It's like it was a like, a, like a, almost like a jellyfish type thing they, yeah. they described them wearing. And they weren't technically, they described them not swimming. They said the movements Floating. were like if they were like like yeah. moving around really gliding. Weird. Yeah, but, like gliding. So wait, how far below the surface are we talking? Just like? below the ice, because there was like there's a, apparently you know it freezes over. Oh uh, no, actually, when they found them was low enough because apparently when one of them attempted to grab it, uh, one of the beings that what they were trying to grab emitted an energy burst that sent all of the divers right back to the surface, and I and think didn't kill them. I believe the bends. Maybe. No, no, no. I think um I think two or th I think three of them died. Oof. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.